motherfuckers. Fuck yeah. From the underground. Anyway, so we're watching AEW's. Uh, I think it's next Sunday. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Seven, eight. I don't know. Maybe next Sunday. Do you all know? I don't remember. No. Anyways, just remember to sign up and shit. Or ass. Anyways, let's get into the, the fucking comments because there was like 20 something comments. I think we went viral again and shit. Uh, let me go ahead and go. Remember our social medias at Cinnaman665 for the, for the X. Uh, at the underground underscore underground underscore broadcast for the IG. And we are no longer doing the Twitter. I mean, the TikTok. Fuck yeah. TikTok. You dicks. Um, it's there, but we're not uploading anymore, okay? It's over. Uh, whatever you send me, I'll go ahead and post here. Uh, like Super Saiyan Joku, who sent me this earlier today. Did we enough time, motherfuckers? He said, I stopped by the local weed store to get ready for the wild night with some woke pack members. Ain't that night? Ain't that right, son of man? Gomer Kyle, Indy Phantom, Rocco, Fuck My Life, Joe, Prime, Trumpets, Timmons, The Cut, just to name a few at the Underground Broadcast. Let's fucking go! Hashtag. Live. Cheers, more flowers. Hashtag. Smoke weed every day. Oh, yeah, cheers! <laughs> and cheers to Anthony Timmons, who's here! <laughs> I feel weird, because usually I'm smoking. I still have that... That, like, something's missing. And it's that, you know what I'm saying, fellas? Uh, but it's in me, Joku. Because I just saw the old blunts and shit you're smoking. Man, I can't wait till they sell that shit in the stores. Like, But this is literally the best next thing. Uh, I went back to the store and the, 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 the Arab guys all like, How was it, my friend? And I said, well, it took about two hours. But when that motherfucker hit, I was higher than any weed. Dumb motherfucker sold me down the street, I told him. And he says, this one is less. The other one was 500 and something. He said, this one's better. And I said, hey, that's less. What do you mean it's better? And he said, no, because this one has. And if you read there, uh, where does it say? Uh, where does it say? He showed me. Oh, in the back. He says, that THCP, that's the shit that's really hard. Uh, and he says, that's the shit that'll make you fail the drug test. You, if you need to pass a drug test, this is not good for you. And he goes, but the THCP, that's the shit that's good. And he goes, this is stronger than the other stuff. And it tastes better. This is fucking apple flavor. And it didn't taste like ass like the other blue stuff left. The taste in my mouth. That's what I say about that. Um... High on nature, it says, it says, uh, this may be stronger than you expect. Please consume responsibly. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> These things are amazing. I mean, this is fucking way better than smoking weed. I mean, I, I still miss it, you know? I do. I do miss it. I don't know why. I miss the smoking, you know? Smoke the breathing, but I do feel better. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but this is amazing, man. Harder than any weed I've ever smoked. I'll tell you like that. Ugh. And that shit I made is super strong, too. Anyways. Uh, cheers, Super Saiyan Joku. Thank you for leaving me ass on the uh, IG and shit. Uh, but let's get into the comments. And we're going to start with some fucking guy. Some guy named uh, 
Lay back. 76. Oh, because he's from 1976. Or maybe he just likes the 76ers, the football team, or some shit like that. I don't know. But he, for sure, he's real, He's a real laid back dude. He was got the letter L as an avatar because he does not know how to make a fucking picture and shit. Uh, but on the, on the X-Men 97 video that fucking, like, I don't know, f January? An ass? God damn it. Super old video, five months ago. He goes, Because he's black, you're a joke. Well, thanks. I mean, that's kind of the point of this channel. I can't listen to a guy who wears lipstick. Well, then I guess you never listened to your mom growing up, you dumbass. Um, I... I don't think you understood, because I, I mean, I honestly, that video is so old, I didn't even know what the fuck you were talking about. So I actually had to click on my own video and watch it, and I was like, what the fuck, man, and the motherfucker's late to the party and shit. But anyways, I went back and I fucking, uh, I was watching it, and I was saying that Disney was saying, put him in there because he's black. You dumbass. I was saying it didn't make sense for him to be in there without any explanation. Because the last time in the old series, he was sent to the future. So how did he come back in the first place? But there was never an explanation. And then on episode three, all of a sudden, there was a reason why they even had him there in the first place. Because they sent Cable, Nathan, back into the future. And I was like, what a fucking lazy cop-out. Because you still never explain why the fuck Vision, was, I mean, uh, Bishop, was in the fucking present. Uh, that's why it's, it seemed to me, like Marvel Disney said, well, we need a black character in there, just throw Bishop in there, and it'll make sense, because he's going back in the future and take the baby with him. Yeah, but how'd he come back? Oh, don't worry about it, we don't have to explain it. Nobody will fucking ask that question, except for the Son of Man, and nobody watches his fucking channel. And shit. That was Feige, fuck you. Anyways, uh, cheers, lay back, thank you for commenting, you dick. On a very old video, too. Check out some of the newer stuff and shit. And pay attention, too, motherfucker. I gotta be there explaining to you and shit. Like, you're not, this channel is not like watching Prometheus. You shouldn't need somebody to explain to you what the fuck I'm saying. God damn it. Cheers. Anyways. Uh, the next comment. Oh, Anthony Timmons. On the Tory spelling is white trash or trailer trash, I think. He goes, The only difference between Tory spelling and Hilly Billy's is Hilly Billy's have more class. Oh, yeah, Tyrus Timmons! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And Tori Spelling, not even like, the, cause you know, like when people in Beverly Hills and white privileged motherfuckers are hot as fuck. Tori, Fela, Tori Spelling is looking like an alien and shit. Her eyes are popping out of her head and ass. And everybody at 90210 was way hotter than she was. For fuck's sakes. She knew it too. <laughs> Anyways. Cheers, Anthony Timmons. Thank you for commenting, you motherfucker. We love you. Uh, let me just close this real quick. There. There was another another porn I had to close. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, uh, next comment. Oh, David Latarte. This fucking Wong motherfucker. On the Jonathan Majors. Uh, it's, uh, it's, what does it say? Is making a comeback. I, let me fix this real quick. Because that's pissing me off that I can't read it. No, no. I'm not going to be able to. Well, fuck you. Anyways, we'll leave it like that. He says, Johnny getting an award for being convicted of assault is the most Hollywood BS ever. You can't make this kind of stuff up. And he puts a little laughing face. No, you can't. Like, like, oh my God. I think back in the day when Hollywood tried to like... You know, sweep things under the rug and show an image of a celebrity a certain way. 
it was easier because the internet was not as uh understood as it is nowadays motherfuckers didn't know how to use it they knew it was there but didn't know what it was uh and now it's like man everybody can see this fucker for for who he is and not only that but the people who are i don't know why are trying to support him that's another thing. That's the video that we did why we have 20. We usually only have like five or six comments. And these are the same motherfuckers, you motherfucking woke packs and shit. But we got like 20 something comments because this video is the one that went viral. Kang is back. Ah, the clickbait. Ah, oh, I got them, folks. I got them, motherfuckers. They, they fucking saw that Kang is coming back to the MCU and they clicked on it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with Kang coming to MCU, my fuckers. Uh, but anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jonathan Majors is a comeback. Went went viral, and so we got all these. You'll read it. We'll read them in a little bit. We got all these Jonathan Major sympathizers and shit, and all these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just ridiculous how like, you know, uh, these groups blatantly out support you know like stuff like this like oh it's okay you know no it's not okay and i'll get to it in a little bit but i don't want to get too much into it because motherfuckers other motherfuckers left comments and i that let, let, my response is more in line to what they said david latarte thank you for commenting and cheers motherfucker we love you in this channel oh you motherfuckers look at this I'm already almost halfway. That's supposed to last all night. That's like fucking three, four shots in that bitch. I have to just be sipping on water after I finish that. And then what the comments are for? The comments are to get fucked up. Oh, it's Doug Unfunny. Woke as fuck. Woke as fuck, motherfucker. On Jonathan Majors is is, makes his comeback. He says, Damn you, son of man. You always make me second guess if what you're saying is true. I had to look this up and darn it. I cannot believe he is actually getting some award. Seems like it was made up just for him to try to clean up his image or something. Cheer, son of man, and the woke pack. Hashtag. Woke pack. motherfucker. And cheers to the cut who just showed up. <laughs> feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slob ready, because the cunt is here. Cheers, mate! Oh, yeah. It's getting too crazy up in this bitch tonight. Doug Unfunny! I'm sorry that you don't know if I'm lying or saying the truth. Uh, but that's kind of the whole point of this channel. It's supposed to keep you guessing. It's shit. <laughs> Cheers, motherfucker, and thank you for representing, you fucking old man. I don't even know how old you are. You might be a kid. <laughs> anyway, nah, you're probably not a kid, because you, you, you Doug, that's a super old shit. I grew up with that ass. Anyways. Here we go. On the Jonathan Majors uh, viral video that we, we did. Caliber 7840. Oh! That's a fucking crazy name. He, he says, Sit down, clown. Well, I mean, I am sitting down. You dumbass. It's kind of weird. You tell somebody who is literally sitting down for this to sit down. Anyways... He says, hashtag, Jonathan Majors is a hero. Notice how he didn't say my hero, you pussy. Huh? You don't want, to want him to be your hero? He's just a hero to someone in general, maybe to, to someone who enjoys beating women. 
That's who he's a hero to. Hey, uh, I went to this guy's channel and I'm not even playing when I say this. His, this guy's a Jonathan fucking major simp to the max. Most of these videos are about defending him and about signing petitions so that they can show his movie on Netflix and fucking she, this guy's in love with Jonathan Majors. Oh, yeah. there's Caliber. <laughs> That's crazy that there's people out there like that. <laughs> that look up to fucking woman beaters as heroes. Oh, my God. You must have had a really shitty father growing up. Or you didn't have a father growing up. Oh. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna get drunk before we finish the goddamn comments, y'all. Alright, let's see who else is next. Oh, DJ New Kid! On the Jonathan Majors, this is a comeback. He just puts a bunch of laughing faces. Hey, we are Cheers, DJ New Kid. Thank you for representing and uh, watching the videos, motherfucker. You don't show up a lot, but at least I know you're here. Alright, alright, let's keep going, let's keep going. Appreciate you. Oh, David Latarte, that's Wong, motherfucker, on the fucking Kevin Spacey is at his lowest. He puts, about to start seeing Kevin at Chipotle asking, bowl or burrito? No disrespect to Chipotle employees, of course. Hey, you know what? Fuck Chipotle is all I'm gonna say, David Latarte. Fuck you, Chipotle. That's the most hated restaurant in my fucking being. You want to know why? Because those motherfuckers, they're cheapskates. And they fucking, whenever you ask for anything, whether it's a burrito, a taco, or a bowl and shit, they slam the biggest spoon with rice, tons of rice, fatten you up. And then they get another big spoon and fucking tons of beans, tons of beans. Farting you up, fatten you up, and then farting you up. And then, when it comes to the meat or the chicken, they get the smallest little spoon, and they just go drip, drip, drip. And what the fuck am I paying $15 for? A bowl of fucking, bur fucking beans and fucking rice? Fuck you, Chipotle. The ripoff. You're paying for rice and beans because they're hardly giving you anything to eat. Fuck you. Chipotle, suck my dick and my ass, my pussy while I'm at it, because I might be trans. I haven't decided. I might be non-binary. I'm still undecided. There's got to be a new demographic that's undecided, because I haven't figured it out yet, you bitches. Non-binary doesn't count, because those motherfuckers know they're confused. I don't know if I'm confused yet. That's all I'm saying. Cheers, La Tarte. Thank you for that ass. It sounds weird when I say that. Thank you for that ass. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say it uh, the next chick I fuck. Thank you for that ass, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's keep going. Anthony Timmons. On um, Kevin Spacey reaches a new low, he says. You think him being a pedophile, he'd fit right in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? There has to be fucking uh, sacrificial lambs. Motherfuckers, you have to throw under the bus every once in a while. Like, oh shit, people are, are catching on to these conspiracies. They're actually starting to believe them. Here, let's just throw somebody under the bus. He's the one, everybody. Don't worry about the rest of us. That's really what it is. Just saying, Timmons, it's a front. Somebody's got to take the fall so the rest of them can continue with their fucking debaucherous lifestyles and shit. Cheers, Timmons. Thank you for commenting. Oh, Rock 
Rocco, fuck my life, this Satanist. Let me hit it for him. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. Uh, on the podcast video, hashtag son of man out of context. Fuck you, Rocco. Uh, well, let me show you what he fucking, what he wanted me to show you. Chi-Chi Wong, Chi-Chi Wong. They were saying, we're doing it wrong. We're doing it wrong, fellas. We're doing it wrong. Look at this uh, Italian or whatever the fuck she is, Aborigine. Fuck you, Rocco, son of a bitch. I don't know Japanese. I was trying my best, like wrong, Wong. That sounds like that could be wrong, could be Wong. Like if I was going to translate, that's what I would understand. Uh, I don't know. It's a hard language. Rocco, I don't, you don't even know Japanese, Rocco, fuck you. Anyways, he goes Chi Chi Wong, and he puts a bunch of laughing faces, cheers, hashtag. I love you, Rocco. I'll tell you one thing on Rocco, Rocco came on this channel being a troll and a hater. He genuinely showed up on this channel talking shit. And making fun of me and he who should not be named. And this troll continued to do it week after week. And, and he started making us laugh. And then we gave him a shirt. And now he's a woke packer, this son of a bitch. He genuinely, I don't think he ever even liked us to begin with. Now he does. And I, I think he does, you son of a bitch. You still show, unless you're just showing up to talk shit. <laughs> but he's a woke packer, motherfucker. Uh, I remember this guy ye ye since the first year. This guy was just talking shit <laughs> to me too, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of motherfuckers ganged up on he who should not be named, but this motherfucker specifically would fuck with me. I remember. Fuck you, Rocco. I love you. Cheers. He's a true. Uh, he's a pillar of the channel. This guy, Indy and Gomer, they were the first small fuckers. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get let's get going with the comments. Man, I can't believe it's been this is year number four. Technically, year number one for the broadcast, but year number four doing this live on YouTube. Time flies, man. It didn't just feels like it was yesterday. Uh, Rocco also says in the Kevin Spacey reaches a new low video, he says, Spacey's about to stop giving those BJs away and start charging for them. LOL. Cheers, bros. Hashtag. Live. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Rocco. <laughs> He's about to start charging for blowjobs. Uh, nah, nah. This guy's too much of a deviant. He won't charge. He just wants to suck dick. That's okay. That's okay. I understand. Oh, shit. This guy left a fucking book. Indie Phantom. It's been a while, but this motherfucker beat you. Indie Phantom used to live, leave books all the time for us to read. And this is a crazy one because this is on the Dudes Podcast Movies Retrospect. One Crazy Summer 1986. Uh, that's from the when we used to do the podcast. We're doing a broadcast now with he who should not be named. And it pisses me off that people are still watching these. Not, I mean, those videos are up there. If there's a playlist that I th it's not on the main channel, but if you go to the to to our main channel and you go to playlists, there's playlists with the dudes podcast stuff on there. So you can watch the old stuff and see the difference and what it was. I think recent, right before it ended, it was pretty much the same thing, except with another faggot on here on the on the left on the <laughs> on the left side and shit. <laughs> Uh, but we used to do these movies retrospects, and it pisses me off, it honestly pissed me off that this guy left a fucking comment on this, because I hate it, I hate it, 
editing this. Number one, because it was he who should not be named's idea to do this. And I ended up doing it in the end. Fucker. Uh, but, god damn it. I hated editing these because it would take forever. Take me like three or four days to edit one of these. But man, I always thought this was our best fucking stuff. This was the best of Son of Man and He Who Should Not Be Named. The retrospects was the best of it. Uh, so it pisses me off that I no longer do that shit. Uh, yeah. But anyways, let's read this guy's comment on the one crazy summer and ass. Oh my god, he says, Hold up. Yep, the movie's nuts. But I'm getting the impression your taste in movie sucks. Well, M Magic, oh, this guy's name is Magic Carpet Ride Share Project, by the way. Uh, Magic Carpet Ride Share Project, let me just advise you, I don't know, I doubt you're even watching, but advise you is that that's because we literally would watch shitty movies that were below 69% on the audience score in Rotten Tomatoes. So we only watch shitty movies, bro. That was the point of it. We would subjugate ourselves into watching ass. Anyways, he continues and says, Savage, Steve Holland's 380 movies, before he went off and did seemingly, seeming, seemingly only kids' entertainments, were epic. The other, Better Off Dead, also with John Cusack as the lead, and how I got into college are both a ton of fun. I'm getting, I'm not saying they're the best comedies of all time, but they're a lot of fun. They're easy to rewatch too, and have a consistent fan following over the years. One Crazy Summer is currently free to stream on YouTube. I think this guy works for YouTube, fucker. I always thought Demi had a sexy voice and was sexy in general. I will agree with you. There's something sexy about a chick sounding like she could be someone's grandfather. At the same time looking like she's ready to fuck. That's Demi Moore. She's pretty talented actress. Perhaps not a perfect career. Well, nah, it's pretty perfect, especially when she did, uh, what was that movie called? Uh, Striptease. Oh, yeah. No, was it Striptease? Yeah, it was Striptease. But still quite good. She had some good insight about the Brad Pack in the new documentary, Brats by Andrew McCarthy, which I don't know what this guy is advertising, but okay. She seems like an intelligent person and perspective despite her troubled past. Seems to have gotten beyond it. It sounds to me like this might be to me more right in this fucking comment. I'm just saying, but I'm going to continue reading this ass. And he continues, or she continues. Sexy woman, by the way. You can hit up the son of man any day. Oh, yeah. Anyways, that's my two cents, and I'm sure I wouldn't be the only one surprised to see her in one crazy summer trash so hard. It's not harming anyone, just saying to provide some laughs. I'm sure it'll lose your invite to the party next time. What fucking party are you talking about? Did anybody make sense of this per- I, I, I got a feeling this was Demi Moore. She was angry. She ran into this. She's like, what crazy summer? I was in this movie. And she saw the video and she doesn't understand what we were doing. Demi Moore, I love you. You're perfect. Yeah, I've seen your naked pictures from before you were famous and a movie star. You're perfect. That's all I'm gonna say. You didn't need that boo job. It helped a lot, but you didn't need it. Just gonna say it. Uh, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Magic Carpet Ride, thank you for commenting, you motherfucker. And leaving a fucking book. Cheers. So yeah, people are still watching their old retrospects. 
Fuck you. He who should not be named, you dick. We would have been famous already. You dumbass. Anyways. Oh, J. Hart W. On the Billy Ray Cyrus gets divorced again. Son of a bitch. He puts a timestamp with faces laughing and he puts hashtag drunk Mexican karaoke. All right, let's hear what his asshole wants you to see. Don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. And if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, he might just go and kill this man. Woo! Hey, fuck you, Jay Hartwell. That's like all called for, right? I don't have the auto tune on, and you don't hear the music in the background and shit. But everything was like perfect, like that, motherfucker. Everybody be dancing in the line and shit to it, motherfucker. You dick. You trying to expose me to the world? Son of a bitch. Anyways, cheers, Jay Hart with W. You motherfucker. We love you out on this channel. Anyways, uh, oh, oh, here we go. What is this? One of these guys, uh, on the Jonathan Majors is making a comeback video. It's this guy named It's Chu. It's, I don't know if it's Chu or it's Cho. It might be Chu, it might be Cho. It's Chu. It's Cho. It's Chu. It's Cho. It's Chu. It's Cho. It's Chu. It's Cho. I don't know. <laughs> ah, anyways, he goes on, on the Jonathan Majors video. He goes, You not understanding why you don't have riches or women is hilarious. And he puts us a, a laughing face. Look at yourself. You're a grown man dressed like a fairy creature. Thank you. It's kind of what I was going for. I'm not wearing my wings right now because they're too big and they fuck up the sign back there that says Wolf Pack for Life in the background and shit. So they're not ruining the aesthetics. I don't wear the full costume, motherfucker. But I was always trying to go for some kind of like uh, uh, Midsummer Night's Dream look. Ah, oh, yeah. It's Cho Cho. Chew, chew, chew. Um, I was trying to understand why, because also, like I said, we are. I'm fucking stoned as fuck. Thanks to these 5,000 milligram gummies. Aw, oh, yeah. And we're drinking tequila and shit on the show. So I don't even remember what this guy was talking about. I don't have riches or women. What are these talking about? I fuck bitches all the time. And as far as riches, well, man, this is Joe Biden's America. Ain't nobody rich. All right, even Cardi B's having a hard time paying her bills for all her family members because they're all freeloading off of her. Anyways, uh, so I went and watched the video, and I just, I don't even know why. I, I said something crazy comparing, like, why does this guy get everything and he beats women or some shit. Look, choo choo or cho cho. I know it's tough to understand or get distracted easily when you see a man looking this pretty. Oh, yeah. I know it distracts you. But I think you missed the point of the video. The whole point of the video was me trying to say that Jonathan Majors beat a woman and got guilty, convicted guilty for beating her. And all he has to do is go to therapy once a month for 15 minutes. Whereas if me and you, Choo Choo, or Cho Cho, if we beat a woman, We'd be in jail right now, you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this guy, man. I was kind of like, who the fuck this guy? I was, I was, I didn't know if I was going to get angry or not, but then I saw his avatar and I said, man, this guy is legit. Look at this motherfucker. He's got 
diamond rings a diamond watch i don't even think that's a watch i think it looks like a watch but it's just covered in diamonds it doesn't even have a, a working thing to tell the time diamonds a fucking, you know, with with a fucking white fucking do rag and shit, and those fucking pink glasses and ass. It's like maybe this guy's a multi millionaire and he's got the mink coat, the white mink coat and shit. Yeah, yeah, and his baby girls, his baby girls' fucking name and tattoo right there. So I was like, this guy fucking might be a millionaire, cho cho and shit. Maybe he knows. An ass. I don't know. Cha cha. Hit us up. We need some money. Some donations up in this bitch. This, uh, this is motherfucker. Look at it. Uh, Boricua, Borena, a Mexicano, Dominicano. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Give it up to the Browns or to this white Mexican over here. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Fucking chocho! <laughs> all, right, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. The motherfucker! I don't know why some of these dumb motherfuckers over there from the islands come over with their nicknames, thinking they're that's gonna be cool in America. <laughs> no, it's not, motherfucker. It sounds dumb as fuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Power Rangers on the video that Power Rangers is dead at Netflix. Anthony Timmons, he says. No big deal to me. I never was a Power Rangers fan. They would probably fuck it up anyways. By the way, it looks like the thumbs up button is gone this morning. I'll check again later. Oh! YouTube is sabotaging our channel, fellas? Are you fucking kidding me? So now people can't put a like on the fucking videos. For all we know, we could have gotten like thousands of likes already on the Jonathan Majors. Uh, is getting a fucking shit. Some ass. Timmons, let me know if they're screwing around with us. God damn it. Nowadays, you gotta pay. You to pay the money for you to fucking get famous and get views and clicks and come out and searches. Fuck you, YouTube. That's a bitches. Anthony Timmons knows what's going on. Anyways. Oh, and the Jonathan Majors is getting a comeback video. Ass R Bay. Ass R Bay. What? 4120? You almost had the right number. But you fucked up by putting that one there. You dumbass. Anyways. He says. Why are you online? Dot dot dot. Well you gotta finish the question. Why are you online talking about Jonathan Majors? Why are you online being cool as fuck? Why are you online looking chick as fuck? Why are you online being a badass? Why are you online saying the facts? Why are you online and you're not famous yet? I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could be asking me here. Asar Bay. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Cheers. Thank you for commenting. You vague little bitch. Oh. Oh, he continues. And he puts another comment. This guy is high. Uh, yeah, but duh. You dumbass. You know what happens when you don't watch the underground broadcast? You come on here and you make an ass out of yourself, Assar Bay. It's already bad enough. Your name pretty much sounds like ass. Assar Bay. What is that saying? Like the ass of a baby? You pervert. You fucking shit. We're moving on.
This motherfucker coming in here with his pedophilia and shit. They're not the kind of channel, ass our bay. Son of a bitch. Anyways. The Kang and the Jonathan Majors viral video, another fucking comment. Yeah, it's none other than this fucking misogynist women raper himself. No, ma'am. Let me hit it for this asshole. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. And this son of a bitch goes, Once upon a time, white males used to get away with crimes all the time. The tables seem to have turned now. Cheers to the Browns. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Live. Ah, yeah, this is the, the perfect time for my people to be here. If you're here illegally, if you're here and you're like a criminal and you rape women and, and children and ass like that, just move to one of these sanctuary states like uh, like Chicago or where these cities, Chicago, Washington, D.C., New York, Connecticut. Uh, Los Angeles, California, pretty much all of California. These are havens for your debaucherous, criminalistic, perverted ways. So the, the new times, the times have changed in certain places. You just have to relocate. That's all. That's all. No man knows what he's talking about because he's uh, obviously a rapist. Anyway, cheers, no man. Thank you for commenting. Anyways, let's keep going. Rocco fuck my life on the Jonathan Majors video. He says, holy shit. The J Major Sims are showing up, son. LOL. Hashtag. Live. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta go. We got a lot of the sympathizers showing up to defend their heroes, apparently. Even though they don't want to say my hero, they say he's a hero to someone out there. Not me. But I'm kind of sort of defending him. All right, all right. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, and yeah, what happened here? Oh, there we go. It got stuck there. Damn. Damn, there's a lot of comments. Anyways, the next comment. Also in the Jonathan Majors video. Pablo UQ6TR. I don't know who the fuck that is. But he's got Token, the little black kid from South Park, as his avatar, this guy. He says, on the Jonathan Majors video. How dare he put his hands on a white woman? He's a true asshole. When he ran away, I was like, he's so guilty. Look, I'll just come out and say it. Because I know we, uh, you know, we made fun of it a lot and shit. And <laughs> you know how we do when we do what it is that we do here. Uh, but my honest and final opinion about this. Is that this bitch was acting crazy. He tried to get out of the car and leave. She wanted to go follow him and be crazy. And for that brief instant. This calm. Educated. Well-mannered man. Fucking lost it. Just like any one of us would have. And he grabbed her. He picked her up. And it looked like he slammed her, but he really just picked her up because she weighs like 80 pounds. And he shoved her in the car. And when he shoved her in the car and went like that, he pulled her finger and broke it. And then pushed her like that and he ripped her, her ear back here. Total accident. He's just, get in the car and get away from me. And then he ran. Yeah. All I was saying is that, unfortunately, he did lay his hands on her, and then she did physically get hurt because he is larger and stronger than her. 
And just him shoving her in the car caused those injuries. It happened. It happened. And it was not intentional, but it did happen. And he was guilty. And he was found guilty for it. And all he got was fucking counseling. Which is my beef with it. Because if any one of us, any one of you motherfuckers out there would have done that same thing, the same situation, you'd be in jail right now. The rest of us, all of us, probation, jail, an ankle lock, some shit where you can't do drugs because they piss test you every day and a half. This motherfucker, because he's fucking privileged and rich and, and famous, he gets off easy. That was my gripe about it. All right. When it comes down to it. Fuck this guy. I'm glad Marvel fired his ass. He should have gone to jail. I would have gone to jail. If I would have gone... When I look at a crime... And, and, and I see that if I did that crime, what would happen to me? It better happen to that motherfucker on TV. That's the way I do the judging. Is that like, okay, if I did that crime, they better sentence him like this. The way they would sentence me. And it pisses me off when I see motherfuckers like, man, if I did that, fuck you. That's my shit, motherfuckers. Well, fuck y'all. Anyways, keep going. Oh. That... <laughs> Some motherfucker on the Jonathan Majors also video. Some motherfucker named the greatest with two T's. 1208. You a clown. All right. You're like the one millionth person to say that. Non-original. Uh, I don't know how to think anything funny. Also, what kind of lame son of a bitch puts his fucking name as the greatest? The greatest what? You dumbass. You're obviously not the greatest at punchlines. The greatest at leaving comments. The greatest at insults. What the fuck are you the greatest at? That is not the greatest picture either, motherfucker. You should have been like Chocho over here. who This motherfucker went to a professional and got his avatar fucking done. This motherfucker deserves our respect. I don't know about you, the greatest. Chocho over here looks like the greatest compared to your bitch ass. Did you take that with your old Nokia phone? Your flip phone and shit? Doesn't even have fucking... It's not even a touch phone and shit. Is that what you took it with? You dumbass. Anyways, we're going to cheers to you for commenting. Cheers. <laughs> all right, all right. Anthony Timmons on the Danny McBride writing for DC says, Booster Gold, is that for real? I didn't know he was a real character. Anthony Timmons, yeah, Booster Gold is, uh, he's basically a, a, a fraud. He's a guy from the future who, who, who reads about comic, about superheroes in the past, about Superman and Batman and all these people, because in the future that shit doesn't exist anymore and everything's peaceful or whatever. But he wants to be a superhero, but since there's no crime or nothing, he can't. And so he builds a time machine. And he takes all these gadgets with him from the future that are, are normal. In the future, these gadgets are a normal thing. Everybody has them. But he takes them back to the past and he uses these gadgets to like pretend he has powers like he's a superhero. But he's not. That's what he Booster Gold is. Holy shit! Anthony Windham is here! <laughs> Celebrating his first live show, he says uh, that he watches this every week. I appreciate you, motherfucker. I'm going to give you one more time a DJ horn, and I'll fucking give you the Woke Pack, too. Live. You know what it is, motherfucker. Cheers, Windom. Roll it up, motherfucker. I've been taking those edibles all day. I can't be smoking no more. Mm. Oh. That fruit on the bottom. It's got tequila on it. I could taste it as I'm chewing it. Alright, alright. Let's keep going with the comments. We might almost be done. I don't know. 
Maybe for a while. This is the longest comments. Thanks a lot, Jonathan Majors, you bitch ass. You and Ezra Miller, you criminals. You get us the most views on this channel. <laughs> Anyways. David Latarte on the Danny McBride writing for DC video. He says, Will this sound absolutely righteous? And he spells righteous like writing. And then he goes, I'll see myself out. Now that's a pretty good joke. That's a pretty good pun, you motherfucker. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to take this moment to complain and say fuck the English language. There's the perfect example of why I did, always did so bad in English, in, in fucking school, and grammar, and ass. The word right and the word right. That's right, motherfuckers. The word right, like in... You're absolutely right about that. Or the word right, like, are you going to write that down so you don't forget? Sound exactly the same, yet are spelled completely differently. Fuck you, grammar. Fuck you, English language. Fuck you. How dare you confuse the shit out of motherfuckers with bullshit like that. There's more ass. There's more ass. Tons of more examples. But that's one example that I fucking hate that shit. Right and right. Fuck you. There's one that... They're, they're said differently, but they're spelled the same. Live and live. Fuck you. Live and live are spelled exactly the same way, but are said two different ways. Fuck you. It's the opposite of this, where two different words are spelled differently, but sound the same. Fuck you. And then they want kids to do good in school. Fuck you. You don't even fucking, you can't even make up your own mind about how shit is called an ass. Dumbass. Anyways, I'm not here to bash on teachers or just the system in general. Thank you, David Latarte, and your righteous fucking response to that. Super Saiyan Joku on the space, Kevin Spacey, not at his lowest. He says, It's all an act. After the interview, he will start walking straight at the end. The usual suspects. Oh, yeah, yeah. The cigarette. And he's just like nothing. Oh, yeah. He was, he was Kaiser Sosa. Oh, that was badass. Anyways. I eat losers like him. And I make sure to spit out the bones. Meow. Oh. Does he know a pissy can be stretched and stapled up. Oh, stop crying, Spacey. We live in real life, and that's broke as fuck. Cheers, more flowers. Hashtag. Those rich, privileged motherfuckers. Like I told you, the only reason why he's broke is because the motherfucker wants to live a lavish lifestyle and shit. I swear, the minute. We fucking get signed for $400 million. We're still going to live in this shitty apartment. Oh, yeah. So we're going to drive the same shitty car and shit. Yeah, that's right, motherfuckers. And we're still buying the great value shit from the store. I ain't spending my shit. I got to save it for the taxes because Joe Biden's going to charge me an arm and a leg for the taxes. You pieces of shit. We get him out of the White House to get a republic up in there. That's all I'm saying. More money in our pockets. Cheers, Joku. Oh, let me make sure this is the last one. And it is the last comment. Always wanting, having to have the last word of the day. None other than Houston, Texas, Jose Trevino. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me 
tienes envidia, puto. <laughs> Cheers, Joe Trevino, you crazy motherfucker. Oh shit, that's almost the end of it. All right, I'll chuck this at the end. It's just the end and the cherry. Well, it's not a cherry, it's a whole strawberry. Oh uh, yeah. Jose Trevino says, Hey son, this is a brilliant move by Jimmy Gunn. He's talking about the Danny McBride is writing for DC. Danny McBride is funny, awesome writer. Have you seen Vice Principals or Eastbound and Down? I've never, never heard of or seen Vice Principals. It's the first time I've ever even heard of that. Eastbound and Down, yes, I've definitely seen that. And it is hilarious as fuck. I'll never forget where I saw that. <laughs> Too and shit. Oh my god, this was so long ago. There was some... Oh my god, it was in some apartment I lived in in some other city. And this fucking chick saw me walking, smoking down the apartments. And she said, hey, you want to come hang out? And I got weed too. And I said, well, yeah, she had these big titties. So I went and we went into her room and we were just smoking. And I was like, this is cool. And then uh, this chick, I guess she was trying to turn me on or something. So she was like, I'm going to just try out some outfits or whatever. You're cool. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, you want to watch TV? And she goes, I got Eastbound and Down on DVD. And I'm like, what is that? And she goes, oh, I'll play them. And she played them. And, uh, and man, I was hooked. Like, this chick was over there trying bras on and shit, and I was not even paying attention to her. <laughs> she fucked up. She realized I should have never have put that shit on for him. Because I, <laughs> I had a low attention span. I forgot about her. And I just, like, well, I was just high, and I just watched it eastbound and down. But on my favorite episode, and I'll never forget this was the one where this son of a bitch t goes to the school dance and takes some fucking ecstasy. Oh my god. And then like, uh, this fucking guy is just like w walking around dancing and shit like, and he thinks the other chick's all into it, but it's all in his head. And I was like, this guy's fucking nuts, bro. The cunt says that Vice Principals is awesome. Uh, Walt Goggins should be a southern jo jocket. Uh, I gotta check out this Vice Principles. I've never heard. I know that The Righteous... I don't know if Danny McBride is writing on The Righteous. I don't know what it's called, The Righteousness. Uh, but, but, yeah, I've heard of that. I've only seen East Mountain Down. I mean, I, I think I watched the whole season at that chick's fucking house. Like, I know, I know she wanted me to fuck her, but I just, like, man, I was... I was really high, and then, like, she put this thing on for me, and I just didn't give a fuck about her anymore. <laughs> I watched the whole season there, and she was just there, like, kind of, I could tell she was kind of mad. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. That's right, bitch. I'm not that easy. <laughs> I only fuck who I want. <laughs> uh, cheers. I'm chugging this. This is the last, the cherry on top. This is all soaked in tequila for like a while already. Oh my God. That's it for the comments. Thank you very much for commenting, you sons of bitches. We went an hour on just the fucking comments. You motherfuckers. Uh, that's uh, again. Thank you all. You you make the show with the comments. You always do. I always say that, and that's the truth. Appreciate you all for commenting and all that ass. Uh, but we're done with the comments. Hey, if you like this kind of content? How about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.